For more on where rates could go from here and a bonus look at Apple after earnings, let's mm. bring in the chart master, Carter Braxton Worth of Worth Charting. Carter, um, what did we accomplish with this move in rates this week in terms of the long term yeah. trend? Sure. Well, quite a week. I mean, here's the thing. I mean, just speaking quickly about the uh, the strength in the market, it's there's strength that's benign and there's strength that's special. Clearly, this is special. It's an aggressive six plus percent in about six sessions. But is it too aggressive or said differently? Is it impulsive, rash, impetuous, knee jerk? It has that feeling. I think Julie was referring to some of those words in, in a more elegant way. Uh, but, you know, uh, as 1 p.m. today, a big, large infrastructure REIT p.m. said to me, recession assured by the S&P. And he was being facetious, of course. But rates, let's look at some charts. Um, the, the, the drop in yield from 5% to 4.5, that channel, which is very clear, it's six months in duration, rates go from 3.5 to 5. And now they've dipped back to the lower band of the channel. Uh, do we stop here? I don't think so. Uh, second chart, there is an unfilled gap. We came back from Labor Day. Uh, bonds sank on the 5th. It was Tuesday, the 5th of September. And we left an unfilled gap at 4.2. Uh, I think rates are going there. And the question, of course, is that mean stocks go even higher? Uh, I'm in the camp. Ultimately, the stocks go lower as well as rates. Stocks uh, go we lower look as well as rates. And that's, what you, said, yep, that's okay. what you said prior to this week's move. And yet we right. had rates go lower and stocks go higher stocks so why higher. do you think so, why do you think it sure. re-correlates right so it, there there if it was it's like an if-then statement geometry seems to me if every time rates um went down stocks went up then it would be easy to make money in the stock market it doesn't work like that um and so what we know is the dollar is rolling oil has rolled all things that weren't supposed to happen and now rates are rolling and ultimately i think stocks join the party uh, but we should okay. see. 4.2% is where you see the 10-year yield going. Stocks go lower along with it. And how about Apple? Because you, you came on our show, you said sell Apple, which is very unpopular. And then before the earnings dropped yesterday afternoon, you also said sell Apple. You went in there and you, you reiterated that call. Um, where are we now on this? Yeah, it didn't really do much, so I'm not sure that was a valuable call. But uh, let's look at a couple charts. The first are, are, well, it's just there's Apple. It's a pair of twos. It's working its way into... These converging trend lines, uh, does it break out from that formation? Does it break down? It's really what a pair of twos is. But it's really more importantly about its relative performance. It's a bad pick. Let's look at three relative charts. The first, a relative chart is just a ratio chart. It's one thing divided by another, which reveals how the, the, the numerator is doing relative to the denominator. Apple's chart, its relative chart to the tech sector, the XLK you see right there, is terrible. Uh, let's look at it relative to Microsoft. It's terrible. Uh, let's look at it relative to Amazon. Uh, same thing. If those were individual securities, you'd say, well, what is that stock there? It's rolling over. Well, it is rolling over. Apple's relative performance, the market peaked uh, more than a year ago. It has been a bad pick.